It is from Prema Bhakti Chandrika, verse 56. Very good. Very, very, very important. For me, this is one of the most important verses. If I, if you give permission, I will read from that. I will be very happy to listen. I and listen. I will be happy to hear your explanation. I listen this. from Baba Mouth directly. <laughs> but mm, I never go through the Prem Bhakti Chandrika. But I want to listen. I, I know, I know. But when Suniti asked me, when Suniti asked me, I was thinking that actually this is such a practical and very valuable verse for sadhana bhakti and for aganuga bhakti i would really love that you hear and say something to it and i think it is practical for everyone yeah so good okay i shall read yeah okay the verse is prema bhakti chandrika 56 sadhane yedana joy sita dehe Taha bhai. Pakva bhakva matra se pijara. Pakile se brema bhakti. Apakve sadhana gati. Bakati lakshana tattva sara. I will attain in my siddha deha the treasure that I desire for. During sadhana. The only consideration is ripeness or unripeness. Right. Like in a fruit, fruit is ripe or unripe. The unripe stage consists of the practices of sadhana. Mm -hmm. Wow. The ripened stage is Prema Bhakti. Yeah. This is the essential characteristic of the path of devotion. Right. Yeah. Tika. <coughs> so after describing the consistent nature of sadhana and city in the previous verse 55, Srila Narottam Das Taku Mahashoy now clearly defines it through an example. Satane Yejana Joy Sita Dehe Tahabhai Pakva Pakva Matra Se Pichara At the time of sadhana, the Raganuga Sadaka meditates on performing whatever treasured Prema Seva to Sri Radha Madhava that he wants to perform. Yeah. When the Sadaka attains Prema, he will obtain that same seva in his Sita Svarupa or spiritual form. Yeah. When passionate devotion is in an incomplete state and it is moving in the direction of perfection, Siddhi, that is called sadhana bhakti. Again, repeat the one. Yes. When passionate devotion is in an incomplete state and it is moving in the direction of city perfection, that is called sadhana bhakti. Yeah. When it reaches a concentrated state, then it is called Prema Bhakti. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. 
for this reason, it has been said in the Sri Brihad Bhagavamritam Tika that which is the natural characteristic of a Sita or a saint is the devotional practice of one who practices sadhana, a sadhaka. It is always the nature of sadhana bhakti to awaken and sustain the desire to attain prema bhakti or direct seva. Therefore, Srila Thakur Mahashai says, Satane he dhana jai. Insatiability or always being hungry and thirsty is the nature of bhakti. The higher the sadhaka, the practitioner, goes on in bhakti sadhana, the more eager or impatient he becomes. This impatient or extreme eagerness quickly leads the practitioner to the kingdom of Brahma city or direct seva. <clears throat> Abundant enjoyment has also been stored in sadhana bhakti too, especially in the Raganuka Sadaka's Lila Smaranam, wherein his meditation is like direct seva. Wow. Therefore, the extraordinary enjoyment the sadhakas or the practitioners experience during sadhana has no comparison. If the sadhaka becomes satisfied with that enjoyment and cannot sustain his longing for brema or direct seva, then in the end, a state similar to Atmaramata, self-happiness, can arise which obstructs the practitioner's progress in bhakti sadhana. That you explain. Okay. That means if we are not, if we are stop, if we stop being eager, and if we are saying, okay, it is enough, what I do now, I don't have to do more. And if I do this only to my own satisfaction that I am happy and I don't go, uh, don't go further and I don't feel the impetus to practice more and more, if I lose this eagerness, then actually this is, like you always say, Gurudev, this is the blockage. This is the obstruction in the devotional practice of a sadhaka. If you feel comfortable and if you feel satisfied with what you do, you can never attain Prema Bhakti. And the Sarup is also important to move with the Prema Bhakti. Sarup, if I know, identify my Sarup, then we go in that consciousness. To self enjoyment, uh, what what I got it is <laughs> It should be understood that this truth has also been hidden within the statement. Satane Yedhana Jai. Satane Yedhana Jai means that whatever direct 
Prem Seva of Sri Sri Radha Mohan. The practitioner desires during the stage of practice, sadhana, he will surely obtain that same Seva in his Siddha Deha after yeah. reaching the stage of Prema. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is Dhananja. Yeah. Dhan Dhananja okay. means become wealthy. Real Dhan they get. If this is the goal of my sadhan bhakti, that is the goal to be in our saru. That is the dhananja. Yeah, oh, that is the matchless gift. Matchless gift. If not gift is there, then what is the next last line? It should uh, here. Um, it means that whatever direct seva the practitioner desires during the stage of sadhana, he will certainly obtain that same seva in his siddha deha after reaching the stage of prem. Uh, yeah, but uh, two lines before what you say, he will get the ananda, but. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. it, if if one atma, becomes Atma Ram. Yes. What is atma Rat Atma Atma Ramata, yes. Atma Atma Rati. Atma Atma Ananda. Because I know up to soul. Happiness is there of the past time with Radha and Krishna, but Atma Ramata is there because my Sarup is not there. Yes. Without without Swarup. Yeah. Atma Ramata. Mm. Wonderful. Qualcuno mi può mandare un messaggio? He will obtain that same seva in his Siddha Deha after slowly, reaching... Slowly read because they are translating. Yes, 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 I will Four try my... Five translation. Yes, I will try. Sadhane hmm. Yedhana Chai means that whatever direct Prem Seva of Sri Sri Radha Mohan, the practitioner, desires during the stage of practice, sadhana, he will certainly obtain that same seva in his Siddha Deha after reaching the stage of Prema. So Siddha Deha is important. To identify my constitutional position. Hmm. You see, Prabhupada Masi, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, he writes in first Bhagavad Gita chapter. Why? Because this is the best and easiest way. But this need only 24-7 to meditate and practice. You cannot divert from that consciousness. You have to watch for always for ourselves. Yeah. Baba is saying exactly the same like you said, Gurudev. Next line, Baba is saying, this is certain. Sita deha tahe taha bhai. After giving diksha in the Kam beach and Kam Gayatri, Sri Gurudev teaches the sadaka to worship Sri Yugal Kishore and he gives him Sita Pranali. 
which establishes the practitioner's relationship with his beloved Didi. That is the blood relation. We have this uh, said that the heart is not gifted. How I will relate with DT with my body, physical body, impulse. Mm. I cannot um, relate with soul even is impossible. Without Saru, because without my form, how I can identify is to their form. Form can see the form. Read again. Yes, Guru. So they give this mercy that time. Yes. If we are qualified. Shri, at, after giving Diksha in the Kama Bicha and Kama Gayatri, Sri Gurudev teaches the Sadaka to worship Sri Yukal Kishore and gives him Sita Branali, which establishes the practitioner's relationship with his beloved Didi. Siddha Pranali contains the name, complexion, age, nature, and the rest of the 11 aspects of the Sadakas, Siddha Swarupa, or spiritual form. Those scholars who know the truth describe Diksha as a method to destroy a person's sins and give him spiritual knowledge. Divyam jnanam yato dadya turiyat apasya samshakyam tasma dikshati sa brokta deshikai tattva kovidai. This is from Chiva Goswami's Bhakti Sandarbha. After quoting this verse in Anucheda 283 of his Sri Bhakti Sandarbha, Srimad Chiva Goswami Pat has written the following. This is what you said, Guru, very on the point. Divyam, Kyanam, and etc. etc. Now the translation comes from Chiva Goswami's words. Here, in all, all not leave. Okay, okay. Has written the following: Divyam Kyanam, Hiatra Srimati Mantre Bhagavat Swarupa Kyanam, Tena Bhagavat Swarupa. The mantra is Bhagavat Swarupa. Is nothing else. Is the form to develop we chant this mantra. Bhagavat Swarupa Kyanam Tena Bhagavat Sambanda Vishesha Kyanam Cha Yatha Pat Mutara Kandadav Ashtakshari Takam Atikrita Vivritam Asti. This now the translation. Here the word Divya Kyana is understood to mean knowledge of Sri Bhagavan's form within a potent mantra yeah. and through that knowledge about the practitioner's specific relationship with Sri Bhagavan, the presiding deity of the mantra. Yeah. This is very wonderful. Yeah. But this is the Diksha, Diksha Mantras, right? It contains this the specific relationship of a sadhaka to his to his beloved deities. Yeah. Okay, I have to go slowly. I I'm sorry. I have to be more slow. Sorry. <laughs> I read I read again. I read again. Here the word divya kyana, spiritual knowledge, is understood more to me. Yes. More slow. Is, yes. Is understood. To mean knowledge 
of Sri Bhagavan's form within a potent mantra. And through that, knowledge about the Sadaka's specific relationship with Sri Bhagavan. Yeah, yeah. The presiding deity of the certain mantra, like Kamgayatri and Kama Beach. Regarding this, there is an explanation of the eight syllable and other mantras in the beginning of the Uttara Kanda of Sri Padma Purana, wherein this meaning of the word Divyakyana has been established. In the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, Divyakyana is also mentioned. Chakshudan Deloji, Janme, Janme, Prabhu Sai, Dibbegyan, Hirde Prakashi. This is the figure. In the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, this knowledge of a specific relationship became Ekadash Bhav, the 11 items defining the specific relationship of the practitioner's manchari form with Sri Gopijana Vallabha, the deity of the mantra. Yeah, like a Gopal mantra, there are different names. They start with cling. <laughs> then Krishna, Govinda. These are also mantra. But this relation depends upon your relation. What is means cling? Cling. Cling means. Radha and Krishna together. <coughs> Krishna, who is telling Krishna? Mother Jasoda. Friends say Govinda. Sakab, how you want? Govinda. You meditate in Govinda. If you in Bhatsali Rasa, you say Krishna. And if you in Gopi Bhav, Manjari Bhav, then last word, what Karan Bhava is telling, that we say. What he written there, I cannot complete the whole mantra, so you say what you are reading. Repeat this. The verse? Uh, no, no, no. Line, line. Um, yes, yes. Yes, in the Kaudya Vaishnav Sampradaya, this knowledge of a specific relationship became... A specific relation. In which relation? In my... Manjari, so yes, next sentence comes. Became Ekadash Bhav, the 11 items defining the relationship of the practitioner's Manjari form with Sri Kopi Chana Vallabha. Very clear. So, this only they will meditate who want to Manjari Vah Gopi. Understand? Govinda Prem. Yes, Guru Dave. Very clearly. Yeah. You can hear me? I oh, hear. Yes. Very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Guru Dave. Okay. 
Next paragraph, Gurudev, is also what you always say, that we have to become divine to understand the divine. The next paragraph is exactly about this. <laughs> In the Patala Kanda of Padma Purana, we find a description of meditation on the Siddha Deha, which is suitable for performing mental service done by the practitioner who understands the essential nature of Sri Krishna Rasa and who has taken shelter of Madhurya Rasa. Na devo devam archayet, devo bhutva devam yajet. Now this is what you always say, this is very wonderful. If one is not a god, he cannot worship a god. If one becomes a god, he can worship a god. This statement from Shastra firmly establishes through prohibition and prescription that a bhakta who desires to serve Sri Bhagavan must perform bhajan while thinking of himself as one of Bhagavan's eternal companions, Parsharas. Thinking of himself as a companion means the sadaka has to contemplate and meditate about his own Sita Deha. Yeah. Your Sita Deha is a meaning that you are come close to the divine. To see divine. Mm. In sadhak physical body, we are living in a material to see material. See like this. I'm in material, what I will see? I will see material. So what material make is a long distance tall for the sadhak deha person to call and talk with her, your feelings. But if the moment you come in your siddha there, you are living with divine consciousness of your spiritual identification that you can make it personal, close. That Maha Baba want to say, you have to become God, means you have to become a spiritual to identify spiritual. Very nice. We are practicing Manjari. We have no business with the other thinking, but we have to be identify my reality to connect with that. My song. Understand? So that's very important. So mantra chanting is important with my relation and my identification. Man is the Manjari Sarup is nothing. Is your identification is career and you can what Baba said, merit. Mentally conceived. Mentally conceived. You conceive mentally. Why mentally? I was very doubtful. Why Baba said mentally conceived? Baba is suggesting to mentally conceive. How you can conceive mentally? Yes. After a long time, it takes time to me, then I understand by His grace, huh? 
that mentally I conceive many things in my life. In this life, mentally I do many things. Many program, many things, many relation, many feelings. So it's also conceived. I, how you can remove this, what you conceived before? For that, you have to now conceive mentally your form. Then other thing will not come and influence you. If not, then what you conceive mentally, that will come in your dream. And always disturb. So please, we have to conceive mentally my form. We have to keep my mind to live in this consciousness. That is the way of a spiritual. And if I have not that, then this creed is important in our life. This creed will grow. One day, chance can come in my life that I will also get my Pancharatrik Parampara and I will try to enter in this divine way. Go on. Yes, Baba, go on. Exactly, it comes exactly what you say, it's nice, it fits together. Some people mistakenly think in the beginning the sadhaka meditates by imagining a mentally conceived body and then by performing sadhana bhajan, the practitioner satisfies Sri Bhagavan following the system of Yatrishi Bhavana Yasya Sitir Bhavati Tadrishi, meaning one accomplishes that which he contemplates. Sri Bhagavan makes the Sadaka's Atma his companion. In this way, although the Sadaka's Parshad body, the Siddhadeya, is ultimately real. At the stage of meditation, it is imagined, but this conclusion is not supported by the Shastras and Mahachans. Because actually, yes, it was still fast. Yes. Um, in this way, although the Sadaka's spiritual body is ultimately real. At the stage of meditation, it is imagined. But Baba now says this is not true. The Siddhadeya is always real. Now he says, this conclusion is not supported by Shastras and Mahajan. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.15.14 says, Vasanti Yatra Purusha Sarve Vaikunta Murtayaha Yenimita Nimitena Dharminatarayan Harim. Sri Bhagavad's companions always reside in his abode in spiritual forms similar to his own. They constantly worship Sri Hari through the selfless practice of Bhagavad Dharma. In his commentary on this verse, in Anucheda 10, this is a very famous verse of the Priya Priti Sandarbha, Jiva Goswami Path has written very wonderfully, um, Vaikuntasya Bhagavato Chotir, Ang Sabuta Vaikunta Loka Shoparupa, 
Ya-ananta-murtaya tatra-vartantitasam ekaya sahamukta svaikasya murti. Bhagavad kriyata iti vaikuntasya murti iva murtya yesham ityukam. This verse is very often quoted for the for the evidence that the Siddha Deya is real. Now the translation. The gist of Srimad Jiva Goswami Pad's statement is that in Sri Bhagavan's eternal abode, the Lord's companions are of two kinds. One is engaged in Sri Bhagavan's direct seva, and the other, being a part of the Lord's illumination and luster, is transcendental, like his body, but exists eternally in countless inactive forms as the brilliant radiance of Vaikunta Loka. Every one of the countless jivas is the servant of Sri Bhagavan, a body perfectly suitable for performing the Lord's seva has been kept in the Lord's abode for all jivas. When by Bhakti's mercy, the sadhaka becomes eligible for Bhagavad seva, this body will be given to the sadhaka. In the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, Siddha Branali is received from Sri Guru's lotus feet. And it contains the specific informations of that spiritual body. No one should ever consider this to be an imagination. It is an eternal truth. Among those countless forms who are situated always in Sri Bhagavan's abode, the Lord, and in our case Radhika, determines the specific body the bhakta will receive. And for us, this is Manjari Swaru. Yeah. Read right? This again. Yes. In the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya, we all have, like Gurdiv always says, we all have to read this with the eyes of Manjari Bhav. In the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya, Sita Pranali is received from Sri Guru's lotus feet. And it contains the specific information of that spiritual body, Manchari Swarup in our case. No one, Baba is now heavy, no one should consider this to be an imagination. It is an eternal truth. Among those countless forms who are situated in Sri Bhagavan's abode, the Lord determines the specific body the Bhakta will receive. Like in the verse, what we meditate about, we will get. So, Sri Gurudev's gives that form, the information of that form to the Sadaka as his Sita Deha. More, more. More read? Yes. At the, at the time of sadhana, after establishing a sense of self in that spiritual body, the devotee must perform sadhana bhajan in that spiritual form. When the sadhaka attains prema, he is blessed with the direct seva, 
in that very body. Pakva Pakra Matra Sepichara Pakile Se Prema Bhakti Apakve Sadhana Gati Pakati Lakshana Tattva Sara Ripe or unripe? That is the only consideration. If mature, it is Prema Bhakti. If it is still in development, it is sadhana bhakti. This is the essence of bhakti's nature. <clears throat> when a fruit is unripe, its juice is sour or bitter. But when the fruit is ripe, the juice is very sweet and delicious. I want in always I say, sadhana bhakti exists when guna is not going very far. We are living in the guna, then we do sadhana bhakti. And this material body, when we come out of the cultural program to do the sadhana, to come close the my false ego, false ego is disturbing me, my senses are disturbing me, my body, my senses are disturbing. When I can balance it, that sadhana starts. And when I reach to the sarup, when we start living there in my sarup, then it's pakile, it's mature, it becomes sweeter. And this time, it creates sourness also. So what is to do, in this practice, to preach to the goal of the mind. Sarupa is my only spiritual identification. And this is spiritual identification. When I will start living there, that is Sarup Siddhi to go back to him. Sarup Siddhi is even the Sarup Siddhi state become again in sadhan, sadhak there. Why we come to maintain it? If not, then sadhak they have not exist. Is a, is a home to live for bhajan and to always want to clear it. Sadhan is always there. And when we matured and we start living, that is Paramahansa stage, then it becomes Siddha. You see, we are so touched with my false ego. We are so touched with my senses. We are always touched by my body and external material activities. This touch and disturbance is a, like a sour taste. This gives our a sour taste. And why is happening? Because we are not mature. Our sour. We are not in prema. And we are not in prema. We are not reach for that. Understand? And sadhan bhakti is not a spiritual thing, it's a religious practice. Anything is in guna is not a start a spiritual. Go on. 
even though in the stage of sadhana, Mother. the enjoyment is somewhat diluted because of anarthas and so on. In Brahma Bhakti, the enjoyment is extremely concentrated. By saying Apakves Sadhana Gati, Srilatakur Mahashai has hinted at the few principles of Sadhana Bhakti. One meaning of the word gati is stream or current. The current of the Mandakini River flows constantly toward the sea. There is no stopping until it reaches its goal. And in the same way, Satana Bhakti constantly flows like the current of the Mandakini River toward the ocean of Prema Bhakti. Very poetic. Baba is so poetic. Yeah. Even though this does not exactly harmonize with the example of the ripe or unripe fruit, still the thirst for Prema Bhakti always remains awake in the Sadaka's heart, producing within him an inclination toward performing continuously Sadhana Bhakti, wow. which will lead him to the kingdom of Prema. The word Gati is also defined as both means and goal. Sadhana Bhakti is the method to attain Prema Bhakti and also the goal itself, meaning it is the embodiment of Prema. This so has been. We have to keep always in prema. Never keep in conflict. Life has to be always positive. Long life, we are always no doubtful in others. We have to be positive. That comes positiveness grips bring us prema. When we bring negative, ours is a not criminal. It creates suffering in our life. So our sadhana should be full of prema behavior, positive behavior. You see the devotee's life. Is become many positiveness in the life. The negative thing ignore to see. Their eyes and vision become very positive because it has to flow. Is a is a river. It flow in in the prema line. This has to be pure, so it has to be covered in the true soul of the prema has to be the soul, whole soul has to be prema binding. Not one soul is prema, one soul is fighting, no, totally pure. Be careful with this, because this is the river, Mandagin mm -hmm. is going to the Prema Bhakti Without blockage. Without blockage. Flow, no need to block. 
blocking is negativeness. Mahajan hmm. always talk parkiyava. You have to go to research more deep inside that. Yeah. Sadhana Bhakti is the method to attain Prema Bhakti and also the goal itself. Yeah. Meaning it is the embodiment of Prema. And he said, Sadhan Bhakti is also embodiment of Prema. Because this is the source start for this Prema. Be careful with this. In beginning, I don't understand this. But when I understand, Automatic life becomes very, very clear. We get it. This has been this has been implied by the example of the ripe and unripe fruits. Yeah. Sadhana bhakti is the method and the goal because even in sadhana bhakti there is no dearth of enjoyment there is always also enjoyment like good when when we can read that actually even nitya parshadas like rupa and raguna they always take pleasure in sadhana bhakti so even there pleasure is very much there pleasure is there, but this pleasure is to increase the pain. Hmm. To this otherwise, otherwise pain. it will be obstruction. Yeah, um, to careful with the obstruction. Yes, that I don't lose pain. Hmm. Prema is no different than Radha. And I think Mandagini is also name of Yamuna River. Yes. So this is the Radhika's Patrani means Radhika is one extension. This Ra Mandagini uh, River is a Yamuna River. And Yamuna River is ordinarily is a prema river. Is not touched by false ego. Is a prema river. So we have to be not polluted. Huh? With negative thoughts. What? We have to care for the Premika devotees also long to relish the rasa of sadhana bhakti. Uh -huh. One who eats ripe mangoes may also sometimes desire to eat unripe mangoes after making them into pickles. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Another meaning of the word gati is class or type. Apakve sadhana gati can also mean that the different classes of sadhana bhakti beginning from shraddha and reaching up to our Shakti are in the unripe state. Bhav Bhakti is 
the partially ripened state and prema bhakti is the completely ripened state. Wow. Srila Thakur Mahashai says, this is the Bhakati Lakshan Tattvasara, meaning that which one desires at the time of sadhana is obtained when one reaches perfection. Yeah. The only difference is that it is unripe in sadhana and ripe in city. Takumasha says that this. No, no, not rush. You are running very far. Okay. And it not. Nobody will understand this. Repeat this line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please. Srila Thakur Mahashaya says this is the Bhakati Lakshan Tattvasara, meaning that which one desires. At the time of sadhana, is obtained when one reaches perfection. Yeah. Sadhana means what you do. If you are not reached to the perfection, what you are doing, wasting your time. <clears throat> to reach the perfection, we do the sadhana. If I now become perfection, then is a time wasting sadhana. You go to the college and a school and you not graduated yourself. That is your sadhana, no? that time. And you not reach to the graduation class and you leave in between. You not get the perfection. So similarly, what is my sadhana? I have to reach to the perfection. What is my goal? Reach living in the love of prema. My river is a love river. So is covered with the love and it should reach sure to the prema highest. If I will mix many things, then what will happen? I will be a picker, a mango picker. I am a mango, but it's sour. Taste. taste will be sour. Why taste is sour? Because I mix in that flow different, different circumstances and not I forget my goal. So we have to care for, for the goal, my dear. When we not reach, then we are not mature. We have to graduate. Graduation is to reaching. Mm. Real sadhana means that we assign with Krishna and that goes, brings us to the ultimate goal. Sign with Krishna that I got it, that you are, you are, I accept you. Sign. You are what you are. You are cowboy, but you are see here, they sign it Krishna that you are cowboy. In, uh, in Europe, they sign that Krishna is supreme God. It's different, different signing. But you have to sign it. You see, Brajavasis are so signed up. They not talk about Krishna. Go any home, any place and the street, they say, Radhe, Radhe. Why this? They already sign with Krishna. But you see in Europe, 
what you talk only krishna krishna because you still you not assign it you show me any place in vrindavan they say radhe radhe krishna krishna When you are assigned, why you talk about this? You are assigned with your wife. You talk about your wife outside. You married with your wife and living together. You talk about that. You talk other things. Assigning means you fix it, and you not talk about that. When you not assigned, you talk that. Right or not? See that you you want to go searching for one flat, and you got the flat. You are signed the agreement. Then you you talk about that. You search again one flat more. They will show you. Realtor will show you. You have to give penalty for that. You cannot buy if you like other flat because you have to pay the damage. So assigning means I accept you. As per personal relation of the person, they accept. In Vrindavan, they accept him like a cowboy. Varya, eh? They say in Hindi. When you go to Radha Kund, he will say he is a gardener here. <laughs> <laughs> What you can do? This they not talk about that. They talk about the past. What happened here? Right, Go, uh, Tarun Baba. Yes. So they don't celebrate. They, they don't celebrate Krishna's birthday in Radha Kund. I mean, Krishna birthday they celebrate not like European world. They celebrate at eleven. They make Nandu Sav. Nandu Sav. They make the festival. They are not twelve night. They are fasting and doing. They are here at eleven. Radha Raman, my place, every place eleven is a. But uh, Abhishek, it takes time little, but you eat prasad after that. Done. Okay. You do how we shake. You do a change of your love. That's the meaning of that. He is appear in my heart because I never doubt him. If I will doubt, he will not appear. If I have no blockage of conflict, why and uh, love will not appear. Sure, appear will be love will appear, right? So this river of love is flowing. It's not flowing from the false ego. It's flowing from the love, because one river is also there who can flow from the my false ego. Also. It goes to my senses, body, and mind, and try to bring out. And one river of love flowing, mandagini, for the spiritual. This full of love. Go. On. Sri Lathakur Mahasaya says. This is the Pakhati Lakshan Tatva Sara. Yeah, this is Pakhati. 
love is the bhakti. Love is Radha. Bhakti is Radha. You see, in the Srimad Bhagavat happening, Bhakti Devi come to Vrindavan, she become young. And Gyan and Vairagya, they are two children, they become old. Then Narada crossing from there, what they are old man, in the lap of young girl sleeping. Then Bhakti Devi said, Narada, I am a bhakti. Are Maya, you are the bhakti? Yes. When I reach Vrindavan, I become young. Mm. And my two sons, Gyan and Bhairagya, become old. Because out of Vrindavan, only Gyan and Bhairagya will stay. <laughs> so, you are also affected with Gyan, all in Europe. All are affected with Gyana and Vairagya. Useless. Vrindavan, they become old. They become so tired and retired that the Bhakti Rani, the mother is crying to how to make young children. And you see, you have many jnana, and Uddhav, nobody can be like a Uddhav. He become old here. In, to see the Radharani love for Krishna. Hmm? Who can be a jnani like Uddhav? That is the story of Bhakti Devi. Yeah, Radha Rani is a bhakti there. Radhika is bhakti, Radhika is a prayer, Radhika is a kal mandagini. Hmm? What is the name? River name? Mandagini. mandagini River. All is Radha here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> other exists here, yeah, yeah. That is a love. We are the dasi of this, and we have to live in this practice. That is my good luck, <coughs> if it's possible in our life. <coughs> How to ignore other things of this, out of this. <coughs> Baba is saying indirectly these things to you. Read <laughs> that which one desires at desire. the time of now you see Baba said desire. What is your desire? You will get it. Right or not? Yes. If you have desire for bhakti, you will get it. If you have desire for jnana, you will get it. Then fighting will be sure. If you have a Vairagya, <laughs> fighting will be sure. Other thing, anything will come, conflict will be sure. Bhakti cannot create conflict. They are the children, Jnana and Vairagya, the children of the Bhakti. Right. That which one desires at the time of sadhana is obtained when one reaches perfection. Uh, perfection that you cross all the... <coughs> you start from the... the... the Shraddha. Shraddha. Uh, Shraddha. And it flows from so many long way. Why long way? That taking to us, my sadhan bhakti. You, you change yourself. You twist. You can twist by other views. You all cross all the <coughs> tests in between, and reach the 
ప్రేమ భక్తి ఇన్ యువర్ స్వరూప దిస్ ఈజ్ అవర్ సాధన దిస్ ఈజ్ అవర్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ టు బి కేర్ఫుల్ దట్ ఇన్ ద వే ఆఫ్ సాధన వి ఆర్ నెవర్ డెవియట్ ఫ్రమ్ మై డిజైర్ not do that to reach to your my sarup avesh if you will block in other places we will never reach to the goal no can block me for reaching to the goal that should be there hmm. Man. <coughs> the, the only difference is that it is unripe in sadhana and ripe in city yes when i will ripe nobody can change it unripe position everybody can touch and disturb us 100% because i am not ripe i can i can shake myself i can change myself i will mistake myself because not a right position is this right so right position is not unripe then you have to careful for the desire what is your goal understand i'm <coughs> sorry yeah Mm-hmm. This is the essence of the, the devotional principle. Yeah, essence, juice. The what you say? Calibrated subject. Mm-hmm. The condense, condense of devotion. Mm. Sara, the essence. Yes, Sara. Mm-hmm. Good if in one in one tikka Baba is taking the word Sara, the essence, and he is changing to Rasa, Sara, Rasa. So he is saying that Rasa is the essence. He, Rasa is there, Raso vai sa, Rasik se kar. But this Baba say Rasa Sara, but Rasa. is coming from sara without rasa there is no sara not not a ras rasa sara make rasa sara mane the reservoir is sara thank you who give the rasa that is radhika so is the rasik rasa understand i cannot explain my through the words miss uh, can you give the words i don't miss sara is radhika container the container container and this container uh, reservoir radha kushra and this rasa when he receive he become rasik sikha and he cannot reserve his rasa so he start distributing to all kundas so sara is the radha kunda radha is the sara and the, this rasa is going to the shama kunda raso vai sa rasa he always live in rasa because of sara bhava
in the Vilap Somanjari or Radhara Sudhanindi. For me, it's a true gather because I'm I'm become mad. I have to read and listen Astavali and I have to read again Prem Bhakti Chandrika. But I stopped there. I don't know why, what, what Baba do to me. You want to learn more there or what, I don't know. And they are also want to, only to go, they never become tired to listen. They want to repeat more and more. I think 50 times they listen, but if they want to listen more. Fresh juice coming I Beginning from verse 52 and continuing up to this verse, the mysteries of Manjari Bhav Sadhana have been revealed. Mystic of Manjari Bhav Sadhana. Mystic. In the mystic the day, <laughs> you will be much perfect, ripe. When you ripe, is it? What you say, Baba writes line? You see, I'm so crazy mind. Huh? Read the Baba. Huh? Huh? Which one go with it? Mystic, yeah. mystic. Yeah. I forget yeah. this word. Mm. If the mystic will happen, the moment you will, mystic will happen, surprise will happen when you will reach that point. Honest. Oh, did that over. You achieve mistake, my dear. Mistake. Selfless Nishkama service. Of Sri Bhagavan. Selfless. Yes. You will become selfless. It's the natural characteristic of bhakti. No, no, no. Repeat the words again. Yes. Selfless, Nishkama service of Sri Bhagavan's lotus feet is the natural characteristics of bhakti. There is no comparison anywhere to the pure and selfless service of the manjaris. In them, we find the highest level of selflessness. This was the Tika. The day selflessness comes, life changes. Selflessness is important. Then we are not doers. We become viewers. <laughs> We are not doers, we are viewers, we are watching, we are looking, happening. Manjaris are not a doer, viewer. If I will not do, who will care to me? 
Why to bother? Thousands will care to you. <laughs> that day you become like this. You don't need to get the example for that. You become viewer and thousands will do for you. Why thousands? Because all Krishna expects to care you because you are the manjari of Radhika. Are you become only cats and dogs of your beloved? That when you go to meet, your lover goes to see your beloved, he bring in the pocket the biscuits. Why you buy the biscuit? You know, Girlfriend like biscuits or no? no, no, she has a cat and dog. I bring for giving to him. Why? Because this way she will become happy that I even care her cat and dog also. So we will become a viewer. Cats and dog are the viewer. You have to care. The lover has to care to bring your food arrangement to your all circumstances. This is the job of the creator, not my job. You realize where we do, then we cannot fulfill my my requirement and when we he do then everything is fulfilled that is stage come in becoming viewer real viewer believe and this is manjir you have when it becomes perfection the highest stage of our life. Very good subject. Tika is finished, Gurdiv. Yeah. Now you are doing. You discuss and try to question answers in this subject and try to go deep in this subject. What I realize, I share you. If you have some realization, you can share in this point. Jananda Maharaj is also there. You can ask to him. And who has a desire to share the, this point, they can share also. See that. Uh, Guru Dev, if you allow, um, I have one point when, which I want to share. Yes, eh? um, in one of the last Croatian meetings, you made a point viewing is higher than doing. And this is related to your point now, from my feelings. And for this, I have a wonderful story. It was in the August 2012 in uh, Frost, in Chateau Belleville Dole. Uh, you give there a nice lecture about Mahabharata and you spoke about uh, how Krishna was carrying Draupadi on his shoulders to the tent of uh, Bishmadev. So I would like to shorten this now 
and one point of the story you explained how Bishma Dev steps out of his tent and he saw Krishna was standing outside in the rain and by your ex explanations all of us we could see what uh, we could see Krishna directly you you explained how the raindrops flow over Krishna's forehead and over his cheeks and the raindrops poured over his wonderful dark eyes and drip down of his eyelashes and blurred the paint of his eye lights. So during your descriptions, I saw Krishna, how you described him, directly before my eyes. And I feel the tears in my eyes. And then I looked around to the other devotees and I saw all the devotees feel the same like me. Your descriptions make it possible for all of us. We saw Krishna directly before our eyes. Uh, for this, I want to say, uh, you, for me, you're not only our navigator, you're also our magician. This, for me, this is magic. You said it before, magic. You are the greatest magician. And the, 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 the extreme was, uh, the next day, I was going to my job. In this time, my job was consisted to selling prasadam, the Govinda sweets, in the biomarkets. This was my job. And there was this day next over Dole. I standing in this market and my table. And I was thinking about your what you give to me, the, the, the your description of Krishna. And it was so amazing, I could feel the presence of Krishna. He was standing on the sales booth and the sales table direct by me. I couldn't feel. And the amazing thing was, on this day, I sold much more prasadam like before. This was really amazing. And then um, this was going on seven days. What you give to me, this vision of Krishna, in these seven days, I never lose me. But there was one day after these seven days, Krishna was not anymore longer there. He was gone. So I was really disturbed and desperate. And I, I, I was... I was say what what I made wrong. Krishna, Krishna left me, and I, I want to vil uh, I I don't know the word. Vil um, Tarun Baba, can you help me? Vil vis visualize. 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 Yes, I could. Yeah, thank you, Guru Dev. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I could not longer visualize him, so I was alone. And it was really desperate. And the people around, the customers, they could see this, this, this guy, something is wrong with him. And then it was really magic was next happened. I saw to my inner eyes and the entrance of this market, there was building some folk, not a smoke, some folk. Nebel. And from this fog, there stepped out this wonderful young girl with black hair 
and his bride was hanging close over her left shoulder. And I was really, I was shaking and I, I, I don't know what, what's happened. She come to me and I was screaming and uh, no, uh, I was crying and crying and crying. And it, it was a, a painful situation because the people, they want to taste the prashadam and want to sell. They saw me in this condition. So I turned my face to the side and finally I hide myself under the table. I hide under the table. And I don't know what's, what happened in the, uh, what happens next. For some time I come out from my cover and the table was empty. There was nothing more prasadam there. So Radharani <laughs> sold the whole the prasadam. Radharani makes the job for me. <laughs> so this was really, this is magic for me, Gurudev. You not only my navigator, you're the greatest magician. And you sold my life. And sorry, I take so long now for this. Uh, but this is wonderful. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you. You give one more thing to me. When you listen from pure heart, it goes inside and it fits in your heart and mind. And then Krishna is with you always. You are signed Krishna. Prabhupada say, when you are signed Krishna, then you are slowly but slowly you will reach the ultimate goal. Ultimate goal. So what is your ultimate goal? Krishna show you that you are the Radha Dasi. So he is always with you by your fixing in Krishna. It happens and you change your life. You are the person when I went with Tarun Baba first time to your factory. They scare, scared me that you careful that Tarun uh, Govinda, the owner, real owner, when he will come, he will misbehave you because he don't like Krishna devotee. <laughs> so, you remember Tarun Baba? We went to that. And you are Go with the play, right? <laughs> you realize the words you have Yes. <laughs> it's a great thing. <laughs> you got it, Marcy. I was first time with Tarun Baba to that place. What is the place, man? Work and fair. Abantoya. Abantoya. Tarun Baba drive me and we reach there, right, Tarun Baba? Yes, it was wonderful. Vishwadev, Vishwadev's house. Vishwadev's house. And your factory, Govinda factory. But when they cautious me that one person can come and he can misbehave you because you are in Sadia. <laughs> you are talking right here like this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wonderful Guru Dev. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your realization. <laughs> but I I still sorry when can I say something more? What only one point, Guru Dev. Yeah. Uh, I still taking my med the medicine from my ping pong mentality. And uh, this is a prayer, and I want to share with all of you what I say every morning. My dear Gurudev, 
please grant me only one drop of your deep kunda of lovingly feelings for Radharani so that I may also serve her as a kinkari. And yeah. this helps me. I still ping pong, but this helps me. <laughs> Always keep association with the Rasik <laughs> This is the only mention Acharya Setalas. Rasik devotee association can improve this. That we all are ping pong. And we want to fix ourselves. We all have to be more and more associated with the Rasika. That is the only way. Yes. Yes. Jananda Baba also give his realization and his views.